In 1996, with the retirement of Dr. Sheldon Biven, I was asked to take over the care of Mike Five. And I've served as Mike the Tiger's veterinarian since that time. Tigers are very intelligent animals. Once they come to know someone, they don't forget them. So Mike the Tiger knows me, he knows his two veterinary student caretakers, and he knows people that visit him on a regular basis. It's important to remember that Mike the Tiger is not a pet, he is a wild animal, and so while we do interact with him regularly, he's not a pet, and so we are limited in the amount of physical interaction we can have with him, just for the sake of safety, ours and his. No, we never enter the same space as the tiger. Mike weighs 404 pounds. His weight fluctuates uh, between about 405 and about 430 pounds. He eats a prepared commercial carnivore diet between 15 and 25 pounds a day, depending on how hungry he is. Mike's two veterinary student caretakers uh, were selected because they are highly responsible conscientious students. Uh, they care for him every day, twice a day. They observe him very frequently and they interact with him very closely. There's only two cat species that are social animals. All other cat species are solitary animals. Tigers are solitary animals. They live alone in the wild. So we would not want to put another tiger in with Mike. That would be very dangerous. They don't need that type of companionship unless they're going to breed and we're not going to breed him. So no, Mike's just fine on his own. Mike the Tiger lives in a 15,000 square foot enclosure and that includes a night house, waterfall, stream, lounging areas. Uh, he's very comfortable in it. It's very healthy for him. It promotes his, his good health. Mike the Tiger means different things to different people. Uh, for people that have uh, come to LSU or work at LSU, he is a symbol, he is more than a symbol, but he is a symbol of everything good that they remember about their time at LSU, and that's a very powerfully emotive symbol.